Hi, it's Mariana and I'm going to show you how to navigate your class schedule. The first thing you'll do is go to my.tccd.edu and you're going to look under the My TCC Resources tab. Here you'll find Web Advisor. Now you're going to click that and click on the Students tab. After that, you're going to look under Register for Classes and there you'll find the My Schedule slash Attendance. It'll give you an option of which term you'd like to look at. After that, you'll click Submit, and then here you'll be presented with your schedule. I'm going to be giving you a rundown of what all these little tabs mean so that it will be easier for you to understand your schedule. First, we're going to have the section, and the section is basically the type of class that falls under your course. So my course is General Psychology, and here we'll have Psych 2301, with a couple of numbers at the end. After that, you'll have your course, and as you can see, these titles have links to them. So when you click the link, you get basic information about your class and also a summary of it. After that, we'll have our method of learning, which could either be lecture, web, or a blended course. And then we have our location. As you can see here, I have online and connect, which are both locations that have to do online. But once you're on campus and you're going to on-campus classes at the Trinity River campus, it'll say either TREF or TRTR, showing you which building or which fork you would have to take the class in. And it will also say the number of the classroom. After that, we have our days and time, of course, the days of the week, the time that you'll be going, and also a thing to know is that a lot of you may see on your schedule arranged in this blank right here, and that means the days and times are still being decided, so look out for that. Next, we have our faculty, and if you click on the teacher's name, you will get their contact information and office hours. After that, you'll see your credits, your CEUs, and your grades, then these dates. So you'll have your start date, your end date, and what you would like to keep in mind, the last day to drop in case anything may happen where you would need to drop a class. And if you do choose to drop a class, it will say what date you drop the class. Then you'll have your notes. After these three stars that you see, there will be a message in bold. And that's basically important information that you will need to know about that class. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation today. And I hope it's not difficult to use your schedule after watching this video. Have a good day. See you next time.